Guys, this is Jack and welcome back to another epic video. This video is probably going to be a lifesaver for people who have just started using Redshift and don't know what the best render settings are. If you've just installed Redshift and you have no idea how to use it, well this video will give you a kickstart for rendering your first Redshift scene. With that said, smash that subscribe button if you want to see more CG content and let's dive into the Redshift render settings. <laughs> step is to go to the sampling overrides drop down. If you have a lot of reflective materials in your scene, consider cranking up the samples to 512. Starting with the light samples, we will set the value to 128. Next up is reflection. We will need to set the samples to 256. You don't really want to crank the samples up too high because then it will take more time to render. Now that we have optimised our sampling overrides, we're going to go to the unified sampling. The values I commonly use are 32 and 64. For the global illumination, I often set the primary GI engine to brute force and the secondary engine to a radiance point cloud. After that, you want to go to the brute force GI dropdown and you want to enter a reasonable value. So that was the best and fastest render settings for Redshift. If you like this video, click the like button and follow my Instagram for more CG content and I will see you in the next video.